Hello and welcome. Today we're checking out Dyson Sphere Program. This is a it's an intergalactic uh, like space factory automation game being developed by Youth Cat Studio and published by Gamera Game. That's coming out today on early access. I'll have links down below. Uh, so what's going on is it starts out very small. We're just a robot. We land on a planet. We throw down some 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 mines and some conveyor belts and just sort of getting up a small little factory. But from there it goes big. We've got multiple systems, multiple st uh, planets in each system that we're going to be going from planet to planet, mining, setting up these factories and these automation empires, and sending these resources out. The ultimate goal is building a Dyson Sphere here to power the new human um, existence or something. It's, it's the whole main goal. But basically building an industrial intergalactic empire. So, big ideas. Uh, the game knows how to introduce itself as well. We'll do a, a little bit of a intro here. And uh, let me crank it up just a bit, just because it's it's good stuff. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, oh right, right. Uh, how many stars do we want? Well, we gotta go big. We're going 64 stars in our uh, in our area here. We're gonna begin. I guess we, we're gonna begin in Mirak G. Sure, I accept. Okay. Again, this is um, early access today. I'll put links to the Steam page down below. The game is going to introduce itself now, and it does a fine job of it. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland, should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time. I am your advisor, and will help you through this mission. The galaxy is randomly generated each time. And each of those planets out there, we will eventually will make our way towards and start colonizing those things. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. All right, let's drive. I'll, kind of, I'll try to show the scale of this off when we land here, but at the moment we're just going to just be able to deal with this planet here by throwing out a couple little factories and a couple little uh, little um, conveyor belts, just uh, just the basic stuff, wind turbines, and then eventually we'll go we'll go big time. It's going to take a little while though, and I'll show you the tech tree and all that stuff. Looking forward to playing this one for a little while. Uh, it's um... now you are about to reach the designated planet. Oh, we're going to go land. I believe this one went through Kickstarter just, like, pretty recently. And they've got quite a bit here in the game. Like, hours and hours of, of stuff is already here in the game. I'm not sure what the in intentions are for future stuff. I did not see a roadmap. But this is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right-click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission... You will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. At the moment, we're just going to go chop some trees, though. Uh, and uh, we'll see what we can do here on this world. There's our, our world map here. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right-click on it to recycle. What I'm doing right now. This is the planet map. In the map. planet view mode, you can hold down the middle star mouse map. button drag. Rotate the angle of view and hold down the right mouse button. Drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the North Pole. Star map. You can use the same Ooh, operation to collect resources, Check such as trees, gravel, etc. In okay. the meantime, hold down Shift and right click to give a series of commands. Okay, uh, so we've got you multiple resources several items around after here. Recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. All right, so we got things like uh, plant fuel, which I've been picking you up. You can some hold wood. down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view, or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I know, buddy, I did it already. Uh, and we also got some copper over here, some coal, some stone. I don't see any iron nearby. Um, this planet, everything here is randomly generated. Ooh, look, check that out. Neat. Uh, I don't see an iron patch. There must be one around here somewhere, though. Let me go see if I can find. Well, there's one over there. The blue stuff is iron. There's a couple down there as well. In the we'll planet view mode, sort of work our way over there. Slide the mouse wheel 
to enter the star map mode. Okay. Now you want me to do it now? Okay. There we go. The star map. That's what he's trying to get me to do. All right. Back to our uh, our job here. Uh, so now the main goal of the game here is to build some factories and and, and things. Uh, we can see what's on uh, Mirac Three that we're on right now, and all the resources that are there. There's each planet's going to have different things, and uh, we'll have to make sure that we deal with that whenever we get to that point. Uh, resource though, let's go get some of that done. So I want to learn how to make windmills and Tesla towers and mines. So let's go ahead and do it. Now we need ten of these. Uh, what do they call them? Coils, life preservers. And before we can do that, we have to go inside my belly here and build them out. Luckily, I have a little um, little machine shop inside here. So let's go ahead and oops, wrong button. Uh, and craft it up. So we want to make some of these guys. We want to make like what nine of these things. So let's make just do a nice ten there. Let's make ten of those things. You know, craft them. Just taking the copper ore and spitting these things out. And that's also allowing my research to complete, which will give us the ability to make those things. My core is energy is insufficient. Okay, let's power up. Uh, energy is multiple required ways of doing this. Mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. So I threw these fuel capsules you have in created here. A mining machine to achieve I could have done wood. Automation. Pick it up from the inventory. Or selected on gathering of construction menu right. to build it. Let's plant down this guy right, like right there. Wind turbine can go right there. He's gonna go, he's gonna fly out there. There we go. We got power. Wind now we need turbine. to make sure we have. You have access. established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Wireless power. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. You have done Let's building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the okay. power supply he mines. area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. I would like conveyor belts. You can use Let's the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. Okay, so he's not that he's not yammering anymore. Uh, we've got a mine running. We got power to the mine. We have a power line, essentially a wireless power line there, running to keep that thing powered. Uh, now I'm gonna make some more um, research to get conveyor belts, so we can just have this guy work on his own. Uh, I want to make some of these, and I want to make some of these. Um, uh, oh, I need some. I need some iron. Yeah, there's no iron around here. Let's go see if I can find some. Was it up this way? There's some up there. I guess we're gonna have to do a bit of a. Um... Yeah, what's that up over there? Sunrise here. Let's go bounce over here. We'll fly over the water, and we'll set up a um, a little shop over this way. I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on this to get the basics going. Yeah, I know I got it covered. You, you go away. Okay. So we gotta have a little bit of iron so we can get this job done. I want ten of these things. And we'll just stock up on a little bit of iron for now, for now until we get our mine set up over here, which we actually should go ahead and start doing. Let's go ahead and make a mine also. Uh, I can do that here. We can do it all in my belly. I want one of these. It'll craft all the stuff that I need for it. I do want a... Um, I'll do another wind turbine. Eh, I don't have quite the stuff for it. Let's do some of these these uh, power thing, these uh, power lines. And we'll do one of these as soon as we can. But we're busy with other things. But I'm getting the iron in here. It'll, it'll just take a little while. We're also missing a couple of those. I think it's in the... Oh, I guess not. Two more. Okay. So, busy time here at the moment, but we're just going to grab some iron, and we'll get it eventually pulled over to our other spot. Oh, look at sunrise. Nice. Last time I did this, I was not around a gas giant, and I didn't quite have the... Uh, this is on the other side of the planet. But it wasn't quite as purdy when that uh, gas giant rose. The other ones are out there. You can see that those stars are out there, and I guess the point will eventually will be we'll have, you know, conveyor belts running from the mines to the workshops, whatever. And eventually, those planets will be shooting resources out to other planets. And some resources, some planets have other resources. Some, some have, you know, less. Some have more, depending on what you got. And um, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it gets pretty massive. You know, factorial spaghetti chains, all that stuff. Logistics is done. Okay. Uh, next up, I'm gonna you go ahead and get. You have received the sorter and the I'm conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. 
Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. So here's all the upgrades we can do, which look things like like fixing me universe exploration, which is seeing um, what resources are out there, for instance, on our planet, upgrading my mecha core. Um, technologies we've got a lot. I go into here, into all the way into mission complete, universe matrix, artificial stars, <gasps> fancy. Um, anyway, we're gonna go and continue doing our thing here, but I want to make sure we get some of these these things built. So let's go. And I already got 20 of these things. It gives them to me just making it. Let's just put down a mining machine, I think. Actually, I'm going to tell myself here to just make up a bunch of these. I'm going to need a bunch of these, so I'm going to go ahead and just tell him to get to work, buddy. Now, while that's happening, let's go and place down some conveyor belts. So, when oh, putting a conveyor belt, that. all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level. And use the down arrow key to drop down one level we can go up after if we the want. conveyor belt sure. is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Okay, so I don't want these guys connected. Um, probably didn't put it in the best spot, I guess. Uh, I think it's four. It's one hundred and twenty. Uh, that's a that's a good amount. I think. Ah, that's alright. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Is that connected? Is it? No, no. So you're gonna go there, out to there, and it should start spitting things out as soon as it gets power. Uh, we gotta get more conveyor belts also, but we're working on them. We got 30 of them in there. Let's make some more. Uh, I want more of these, please. And we've got power that I was working on, so we could just probably just do one of these. These are gonna be a bit of a stretch. That's a long way over there. Let me just get a whole nother system here. Wind turbine. Make me one of those. So the idea is this stuff is iron. It'll come out. It will go into a uh, a new guy, um, which I think is what we're resourcing right now. So when I'm done with that power thing, I want to go ahead and get some more of these made up. So we can finish that research over there. Right now it's all manual things, of course, and then we'll get into the new stuff, uh, into the exciting stuff before long. Go ahead and get to work on that thing. Uh, I'm sure that everything, my miner over there is full. Because nowhere to put the stuff yet. Organic crystals. Okay. Is that guy ready yet? No, not yet. Not yet. We see it pop up over here whenever we get it. It is still got a little ways to go. Where we got to deal with a lot of this, these uh, the smelting jobs in my belly, and then we'll get there. And you know, it's one of those games where it's um, you know, Factorio. It's probably the closest thing I can I can think of. Satisfactory as well where it's just one of those very slow and small scale beginnings and then it gets gets big scale quite quickly. Um, I guess I can just stick you right there. There's no reason for you to be... Oh uh, yeah, why, why not? There you go. We'll need a lot of these things. But for now, it's fine. It powers it up. There goes these guys. Let's go ahead and get the conveyor belt up and running. I got a, I should have enough of these. I got 60 of these things now. So let's go over here and connect up here and just keep on going. I want to go over to here somehow. So maybe we, we should set up like a... Uh, where's the operations land going to be? Like, um, maybe like right here. So we'll go there. We'll go back down a level. And... Yeah, like uh, like right over there is where we want to go. So then all this stuff, I don't know why we went up, just for funsies, uh, is going to go into not a storage, but I want it to go into my new research here in just a minute. Um, while that's happening, let's go back over to here. Let's see if I can get a conveyor belt running this one over as well. Which I guess doesn't really have to go too far. Uh, we need another uh, miner over here also. So we can go ahead and get this, this coal up and running. I should always keep my belly running. So let's go and make sure we make another one of these. Okay, so we got... What was that? That was the smelter, right? Yeah, smelter. Okay, so perfect. So this guy's going to spit out stuff and it's going to go into the smelter. Keep it in here in the powered line. Powered land. And you built a there. smelter, Thanks. which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically, okay, while so you, you want to there. make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously. You need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Here we go. So it grabs the stuff. The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. So there we go. It takes the the software. So it'll store on power here. 
you can use the less than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. So he's going to smelt me some copper. Uh, and then when we get the, the, we'll do the same thing over there for the iron. And then, oh, look at that. That's fancy. Uh, we're going to come over here and get a stone guy up and running. Stone guy. There you go. Um, maybe right, right, right in there. How about like right over here? You can hold shift to make it a little more exact. There we go. Okay, we'll get that one up and running. We can get more conveyor belts and smash that stone up. We can put plenty more of these smelter guys. Um, which, sure, I'm not going to have any sort of organization at all here just yet because it's the kind of guy I am. Uh, let's put in some of this stuff as well. Spaghetti, spaghetti's my middle name. Uh, let's put out a, uh, a turbine or a Tesla tower here. And then we'll probably need more power lines. So we're going to go do this. And I'm going to need more power here. Close to the wind turbine. Okay, here. Just sort of set up a system of these things. Make sure they're all connected. Okay, there we go. So that's a little more power. That should keep things up and running and happy. I'm out of uh, out of power myself, so I don't think I picked up any coal yet. Is that coal? Uh, that's stone. Okay, I'm gonna throw in some grass. That'll uh, that'll feed me for a little bit before we get some coal up and running. Which there is a bunch of it over there. Uh, okay, so conveyor belt. Same thing. We're gonna go out from here, and you're just gonna go out and over. Need to go that far out. Over to there. This guy's connected into here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make stone blocks this way. There we go. Okay, there's our research guy who helps us think, move along here. Let me let you do that. There we go. Stone blocks are on the way. Excellent. Uh, you don't have a place to put these things, so you're just going to fill up. I'll take that. Put my belly. And we need more of those gears. Let's go make sure we do that. There we go. Uh, now, I, I do have a new... Um, it might be actually ideal if we just throw all this stuff into storage and then, I don't know, probably. Uh, anyway, let's go put in the, where is he? There he is, research man. So this guy needs a couple of complicated things to get made. So I'm going to set him up sort of in the middle. Like that. And we'll go build him up. And he's going to know some, some complicated stuff before we can get him really up and running. Matrix Lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Okay. Keep you in uh, in line there. Are you in line? Are you in power? Oh, good. You reached it. Okay. I've unlocked the assembling machine, which we'll see what that does in a minute. So now this stuff, once I tell him what to do, is going to make these guys. And away he goes. And he will spit this out in a moment, as soon as I make something. But first, I think I could probably use some power. So this guy, we can do two things with him. We can have him make this stuff, which is a electromagnetic matrix. Basically what it means, research points. Or we can just tell him to research things with those research points. I guess we have a couple of these guys running. Um, so that he can go and do his thing. But we need research. Let's go ahead and make sure we get this going. I think... Yeah, this is so most of the things upgraded are going to need that in order to get anywhere. Purification, or, um, yeah, uh, this is all basically needed for those. So, electromagnetic drive, that seems exciting. I'll take it. Um, we'll just queue all these things up here. By the way, these are Chinese developers, and so it is, uh, um, it's, I think as of today, I think they've just sort of re they've just released the English. Um, version, but anyway, anyway, some of the uh, translations aren't all there. Uh, but let's go make. I was gonna go get that coal because I'm, I'm. Um, you know what we should do? Let's come over here. Let's make a coal mine. Make one of these real quick. Oh, I'm missing all kinds of things. I need iron. Hmm. All right, let's go over there and get some iron. I need to really just get stuff and put it in my belly. There's some stone ore for me. Just to make sure I got this stuff so I can do it myself for now. I'm a little low on power. This one guy can't can't handle all this stuff. So, let's get another wind turbine also. But first a mine. And then a wind turbine. And then more conveyor belts, probably. More conveyor belts. And then, I think I've got one of these laying around. I do. So, this one will go like, uh, like right. Oh, this water's gonna be a problem. Uh, right to, right to there. Okay. So, now he will take 
these bits and make things like the, the life preservers and the, and the circuits, and that will go into here. So let's make some of these. These require copper and the rings. The magnets are made by iron. Uh, so we got get copper lines up and around here. All kinds of, you know, things going on here. You need power too? You don't need power, do you? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, there you go, buddy. That'll power you up. I uh, you got one more of these. I'm going to stash it... Actually, I'll put it here. Um, maybe not. All right, there's fine. We can eventually get one more of these things and connect all this stuff up. Make a couple more of these turbine guys. Test the towers, I mean. Okay, now let's go get that that coal guy running. He's full of stone. He's full of that. Uh, you're full, of course. And you're full. Let's go make a stone mine over here. Like, yeah, like that. Or, uh, um, uh, coal, coal, I mean, coal, I mean. So, go do some of that. Uh, we'll get some power over here since our guy gets built. Um, well, we can probably just do this. Okay, yeah. and then we will, um, put in a conveyor belt which will lead it into the same thing. It's sort of a, a coal guy. And then we'll take care of that. For now, I'm just gonna let it run so I can pick this stuff up. Because I I'm running out of energy and coal is uh is the good stuff <laughs> to power our uh, power our bones. Okay, let's do that and look at that. Been playing for four minutes and I'm already overwhelmed. Twenty one minutes. Never mind. It's been a while. Okay, so we've got to get in order to get this thing running, we want to make these things. We've got to get circuit boards and those. So uh, I mean I can do it. I can do it in my belly, you know. Uh, can I just put these in here? No, because i got to make them over here. So we can grab these guys. I can just... I can, I can do that. There you go. So you can get a few of them going. But I need to get a conveyor belt over here carrying this stuff around. Uh, in order to make these things, we need an iron guy to make it. So, like, this guy's making these. We also want him to make... Uh, we also want another one to make... Um, actually, I can just tell you differently. Um, here, you know what? Make these for now because I need those. And then we can have a conveyor belt come out here and feed this guy. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, like this, and then you're just going to feed straight into here. Like that. Okay, and then you're going to go into there, to that once it gets built, and then from there to there. And that way we'll feed part of it there. And eventually we'll get there complicated, but we'll get there. Once we get research going, we'll be we'll be in grand shape. Now, these blue things, I can actually do it myself, and I probably should be doing it right now, rather than just sitting here doing nothing. Uh, I need to just make a bunch of these. So I can do all this stuff myself. I've got the stuff in me to do it. Of course, it's going to be more productive by doing it here, and being automated, you know. But those rings are now getting pushed through here, and into here. So now we've got, there's one, and there's, there, there, it's making it. Uh, and then those rings will eventually go into here. Once I set up my tower. And... Another tower. And maybe another tower. I think it's connected now. Okay. So then, more conveyor belts. And you're going to go out here. And you're going to stay on the ground and go like that. We can always go up and over, you know, in spaghetti time. I want oh, need some of those. I need uh, give me a couple of those, and then would I get soil piles? Okay, make more of this stuff as soon as I get more of those. Which I need more rings. Which the rings needs more iron, so I'm out of iron. Okay, let's go put in that guy's gonna go there, and then you will start gaining those guys, right? Oh nope, not yet. From there to there. They should be coming out. Spitting them out. Here we go. Okay. Okay. One down. Now we got to make these. And these are with two iron, one copper. So we could do the same thing. Just getting copper thrown over there. Just, right, so, so getting some research thrown in. And then we'll be set. But until then, I think I have to call it a day here. So this is a massive game. And at the moment, it's... Barely, barely scratch the surface. Um, you can go, um, you can get 
pretty crazy once you start getting into the solar system and multiple planets. Um, and um, yeah, it gets uh, it gets a bit a bit much. Can I look at this one yet? I guess I can't. But we can see the resources once we can scan the things, I guess. Uh, and our ultimate goal is to go to that the giant star we saw as we kind of buzzed by here at the beginning. Anyway, thanks again for watching. This is Dyson Sphere Program. If you want to see more of this, let me know. We may continue this thing into uh, into more int more uh, more stuff, uh, more videos. I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.